Next here this evening, ABC News has learned that Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner have now been subpoenaed by Justice Department Special Counsel Jack Smith. The subpoena specifically related to January 6th and events leading up to it. Former Vice President Mike Pence already subpoenaed. So what does this all signal? Here's our Chief Washington Correspondent, Jonathan Carl, tonight. And yet another sign the federal investigation into Donald Trump's action on before January 6th is moving aggressively. Special counsel Jack Smith has subpoenaed the former president's daughter, Ivanka, and son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Earlier this month, the special counsel issued a subpoena for Vice President Pence. Sources tell ABC News the subpoenas for Kushner and Ivanka Trump are specifically related to the special counsel's investigation of January 6th and the efforts of the former president and his allies to overturn the 2020 election. This comes as the Fulton County, Georgia district attorney considers whether to seek an indictment against Donald Trump and his allies for tampering with Georgia's 2020 election results. And now in the Georgia case, something highly unusual has happened. The forewoman of the 23-person special grand jury that investigated the case is talking publicly about the grand jury's work, revealing they recommended multiple indictments. It's not a short list. Not a short list. <laughs> she says she decided to speak because serving on the grand jury was, quote, a really cool experience. But she's giving her opinion of the case, even though most of the grand jury's work remains under seal. I will be sad if nothing happens. Like that's, that's about my only request there is, is for something to happen. I don't necessarily know what it is. I'm not the legal expert. I'm not the judge. I'm not the lawyers. The case centers on Trump's efforts to overturn his 2020 election loss in Georgia, including his infamous call asking the state's Republican Secretary of State to, quote, find exactly the number of additional votes he needed to win. I just want to find uh, 11,000 780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. So what are we going to do here, folks? I only need 11,000 votes. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. The decision on whether or not to seek any indictments is entirely in the hands of the Fulton County District Attorney. Some legal experts caution that the jurors comments could complicate things when the judge in this case disbanded the special grand jury last month. He did not forbid them from speaking publicly, but under Georgia law, David, they are not permitted to speak about their deliberations. All right, John Carl with us again on this story tonight. John, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.